Hindustan Aeronautics has displayed a model of the upcoming medium-weight fighter at the Aero India 2021, and it shows few design changes, including shifting of the infrared search and track system to the right side of the aircraft, a new spill duct on the wing, retractable in-flight refueling probe, addition of dual-rack pylons which increases its hard points from 11 to 13. Hindustan Aeronautics has also displayed a semi-stealth model of the twin-engine deck-based fighter, which confirms its DSI intakes and canard configuration, as well as the Swift Technology Demonstrator and 5.5-generation AMCA stealth fighter jet. A model of unmanned wingman drone was also showcased, along with a model of combat air teaming system. Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies had teamed up in 2017 for the CATS program, which is an unmanned Tejas aircraft half the size of a regular light combat aircraft, and this artificial intelligence-enabled stealthy wingman is seen equipped with air-launched cruise missile, Alpha S swarm drones and jammer systems. The DRDO has showcased a scale model of the Airbus A320-based airborne early warning and control aircraft at the Aero India 2021, which confirms the same Netra aircraft radar configuration, that features two radiating plane arrays to provide 240 degrees coverage. It might also get a new ASA radar, that could increase its 240 degrees coverage to 300 degrees. India will send 6 A320 aircraft to France, where they will be refurbished and modified to Indian specifications. The total defence budget for the fiscal year including pensions has been announced to be around 4.78 lakh crore rupees, which has seen a moderate increase of 1.37% as compared to last year, but the capital budget outlay for modernisation on defence services has seen a significant 18% increase to 1 lakh 35,061 crore rupees, from last year's 1 lakh 13,734 crore rupees. While the Indian Air Force expected an increase of at least 15% in its capital budget to cater for an order of 36 additional Rafale fighters, but today's defence budget mentions 23% increase in Indian Air Force's capital expenditure. It was also revealed that India had spent 20,776 crore rupees on emergency and unbudgeted defence expenses in 2020, as the armed forces went on a global hunt for equipment to respond to the standoff at the northern border. After the signing of 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets on 4 February, the Indian Air Force will move a proposal for getting the acceptance of necessity for 114 MMRCA fighter jets worth 1.3 lakh crore rupees before the Defence Ministry. Officials have said that the main aspect for selection in the project would be the capabilities of the fighter jet along with the price at which it is offered. The Indian Air Force is also developing the parameters on which it will select the fighters, and would create a level playing field for both single-engine and double-engine fighters in the competition. Hindustan Aeronautics has manufactured the last two of the 272 contracted Su-30 fighters, out of which one Su-30 is certified and inducted for BrahMos modification, while the another will be certified by the end of February. A total of 40 Su-30 fighters are being modified to carry the BrahMos air-launched missile, and the Air Force has started receiving the modified fighter jets and has deployed them at its Thanjavur Air Base for anti-ship missions. There are also reports that Russia has quoted a very high price for the 12 additional Su-30 fighters, and negotiations are currently underway. Czech Republic-based manufacturer Primoco UAV and Bharat Earth Movers Limited have showcased one 150A unmanned aerial vehicle, that has endurance of 15 hours and has a 200 km radio range, with autonomous takeoff and landing capability. Bharat Earth Movers Limited will also showcase a locally developed turboprop gasoline engine-powered UAV, that has been designed by the company and Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur. 
the Tata Group have acquired intellectual property rights for the German origin Grob G180 SPN aircraft, and the company will integrate it with indigenous sensors and payloads from June 2021, to convert it into an intelligence gathering platform, as it is designed to fly at an altitude of 45,000 feet. It is to be noted, that the Indian Air Force had issued a request for information for a signal intelligence and communication jamming aircraft in 2017, and the requirement for seven aircraft is still believed to be pending. A high-level Brazilian military delegation is heading to India for the Aero India 2021, and top officials from India and Brazil have been in discussion for the next-generation BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles and artillery systems. The world's second-largest ammunition manufacturer CBC Brazil and Indian private sector firm SSS Defense will also start ammunition production facility by the end of 2021, and after fulfilling the Indian requirements they will also export to other countries. The Indian National Centre for Ocean Information Services have successfully conducted sea trial of two deep-sea long-range slocum gliders under deep ocean, that will be used for monitoring seas and coastal waters. The autonomous underwater vehicles have no propellers, and are driven by variable buoyancy, and they have an endurance of few months. The Rustam 1 medium altitude long endurance drone is back on testing and developmental track, after the Central Reserve Police Force and Border Security Force have showed interest in its procurement for internal security. It has an endurance of 12 hours, and can carry payloads of 75 kilograms at a maximum ceiling of 25,000 feet. Oh,